Hi there! In the previous video we took a look at touch inputs and in this video we're gonna take a look at adding score to our game. So I already created a text object in my canvas and you can create by right clicking on the mouse and under UI you have the option for text. I have text object named score and I put in a default score text, tweaked some color settings and stuff and now let's add the logic of updating the score. So we'll use add component, flow machine, let's select the embedded, let's go edit graph and for updating instead of using one of these events we're going to use a custom event. So let's look under events and there's a custom event right here. We'll look for custom event with one argument. The custom event name will be score update and the object that will associate that event with is going to be a player. So let's set it to player instead of self. The idea is for us to get the score from the argument zero and whenever there's an update in the score that's when we're gonna trigger this event. The only thing this event's gonna do is set the text of our UI. Target is self and now we need to pass in a string. So as you can see the first part of the string is constant. It says score and then it's followed by the actual score. And we can achieve that by using concatenate. So add unit, we're looking for a string, and the value will be score colon followed by a space. And we want to concatenate it with the actual score. So let's find concat, and we'll be using two arguments. And the second argument is going to be from our custom events. And we can connect the output string to our set text and that's it we've configured the update logic for our score text now we need to go to our player and set up how we want the score to be counted so this is how our player graph looks right now and in here let's add the logic for score there's lots of different ways that you can set up the logic for score but the way i'll show it in here is by using events so let's add another custom event we'll have one argument and we'll name our event add score so this way we can call the add score event that is attached to our player from any object that we want. For keeping score, we'll need a variable and I'll use a graph variable. So score, click add, type is gonna be float. Let's add that to our graph. When we get an event to add score, we want to add the score that was passed in with our current score. So we can connect it to the variable and now we want to set that variable. So select set variable and then the drop down we select the score. Connect that from the add node and connect the control input from the custom event. So this logic right here is going to count our score. Now we can trigger the event that we put in the UI to update the score. So let's add a custom event trigger. The name that we used was score update pass into one argument and connect the value from our set variable. And that's it. This completes the add score logic. And now we can trigger this custom event whenever we want to add score. Since we're connecting all these custom events to our player object, it'd be smart to add this player object as an application variable. So that's what I did right here at the top. When the start event gets triggered, I set an application variable for the player to be self which is the object. And this application variable will let us find a player from the prefabs as well. So the way that I want to calculate the score is the count of trees that we successfully pass without hitting. And to set up that logic, we'll go to the tree prefab. The tree prefab has a flow graph attached to it. And this is the logic for respawning the trees once it's off the screen. And we did this logic in the fifth video on recycling the game objects. If you want to see how this works, take a look at that video. Now, if we go to the inspector, you can see that the flow machine that we're using here is actually a macro. And this macro is used by other objects as well. So I use it for fence, for flowers and for grass. And I don't want to modify the graph of this macro. So what I'll do is create another flow machine. And this one is going to be an embedded flow machine. We're going to be using the same super unit, the if collide. So we can copy it from here, control C, and go back to inspector, click the embedded edit graph, remove the events, and we can paste that in. So this node is looking for collision with a respawn tag. And the respawn tag is used on our off-screen object that is behind our character. And when we collide with that object, 
what we want to do is trigger the add score event. So let's find event, trigger custom event. Event name is add score that we're using. We'll pass in one argument. For the game object, we want to pass in the player. So this is where we're going to use the variable and get variable. And the one we're looking for is the application variable. The name of the variable is player. And the argument that we want to pass in is an integer literal. And you can pass in whatever score you want to add per tree. So in our case, we'll just add one point. And that's it. That should have been the last step of configuring the score. So if we click play now, whenever we avoid any of the trees, we get the score count. And you can see the score updating in our UI. Now, usually in this type of games, there is also a best score. And we'll take a look how to create that in the next video. If you found this video useful, click on the like button and I'll see you in the next video.